I've been getting ready for this upcoming quarter and making a few home pages for my Canvas classes. So I want to show you just how easy it is to create your own. My name is Angie. Let's go ahead and dive in. So I am here in my demo class and this is the landing page. So when students click on my class, they're taken by default to the module. So not the most friendly of landing pages. So instead, we're going to create a home page. And to do that, you're going to start by clicking on pages. We're going to go ahead and create one from scratch. So I'm going to click on add page and you can give this a name. I'm just going to call it um, welcome to class. Now in this um, homepage, there's a lot of different things that you can put. I definitely want to start with some kind of a welcome image. So I'm going to do a quick image search. I'm just going to go over to Google, which is my browser and type on welcome and then images for an image search. I really like this one and I've actually already downloaded it. You can right click on it or tap with two fingers to copy it or download it. So I'm going to go back into my class and I'm going to upload this image. I've got my cursor where I want it and I am going to click on the image icon. You can also do this by going insert image and then upload image. So I'm going to bring up that pop up, click on that rocket ship and mine is in downloads. And here is my welcome image. Click on open. I'm going to add some alt text to, and this is just banner that says welcome. Okay. Submit. Um, I also want this to be centered and I want it to be a little bit smaller. It's pretty big right now. So if I click on this, I can grab one of those blue corners that shows up. I'm going to click, hold and drag to get it to be the size that I want. It's still highlighted. So I can go ahead and go to my alignment tool and click on center align. Now, if all of these tools aren't showing up for you, you probably have some dots over here in the corner, click those and it will reveal everything that you need for your rich content editor. Okay. So I've got this next. I just want some words. So I am going to again, center this. I want this to be a heading. So I'm going to go over here to my font type and choose um, heading two. And I'm going to say, welcome to statistics. Um, I'm, oh, that made it really small. I'm glad you're here. I want this to be centered as well. I guess I could have selected everything all at once, but we'll go ahead and do it this way. It's pretty little. So I'm going to change my font. I'm going to make that one 18 and I'm going to make this other one even much bigger than that. We'll make that one 36. Now let's add some buttons and these buttons are going to help students navigate to where I want them to go most in the classroom. And to do that, I'm going to go to Google drawings. There are some great ways to create buttons. I think Google drawings is one of the easiest. So I'm going to go ahead and just search for Google drawings. There it is. And I'm going to create my first button. I'm going to use one of the shapes and my favorite shapes. Let me click on shapes here are either the rounded rectangle or the circle. There's a lot that you can choose from. Let's go ahead and use that rounded rectangle. Now it's going to give you a cross hatch. I want to put that cross hatch in that upper left hand corner, and then I'm going to click, hold and drag to get my shape. Let's go ahead and put some text on this one. I want this one to be start here. I always want something really clear in my classroom so that students know exactly what to do first. So I'm going to actually put this one in all caps start here, not my favorite font size or font style. So let's go ahead and change that font. I've highlighted this. I'm going to click on my font options. Patrick hand is one of my favorites to use for buttons, but you've got lots of options. You can even click on more fonts here for additional options. I'm going to click on Patrick hand and I want it to be much, much bigger than this. How about 60 now, because this is a starting one, I like it to be green. So I'm going to click on this, click on my fill color, and then I'm going to make that green. My button is almost ready to go, but you see this checkerboard background. This is the actual size of the image that I'm going to save. I really want my image to be the same size as that button. So I'm going to move my cursor down to this lower right hand corner. I'm going to click hold and drag it so that it matches or pretty closely matches the size of my button. Okay. I'm ready to download it. I'm going to go up to file 
and then download, see how quick this is, and then down to PNG image. That'll save that transparent background so it won't show. So PNG image. Now I just saved this as untitled drawing. You could of course give it another name up here, but you're gonna see why I'm just leaving it as is in a second. Let's go to my demo page. Now I'm gonna have more than one button. I'm actually gonna do three buttons. I find that the easiest way to arrange my buttons on my homepage is with a table. It's not the best for screen readers, but I think it's really ideal here, even with that hurdle for the homepage. So I'm gonna to go to my table and then table, and then I'm going to click on one, two, three, then I click to choose a table with three cells. I'm gonna put my cursor in that first cell and I'm ready to upload my first button image. To do that, I can either go to my image icon and then upload image, or you can go insert image, upload image. We'll both get you to the same spot. Click on that rocket ship, and I am looking for that first untitled drawing. There it is, and I'm gonna click on open. Definitely want some alt text, so click here to get started. The alt text will only show if a student's using a screen reader or if their internet is slow and doesn't load the image. So I've got this image, you can change the size. So if you click on the image, you've got this blue outline with some corners. You can grab the corners to change the size. Now that I've done the first one, the second one is super easy. I'm gonna make my second one for the syllabus. I'm gonna go right back to that original drawing. I'm gonna click on those letters. Let's highlight those letters. And I want this one to be the class syllabus. I do want a different color. So I'm going to click on the entire shape there and then click my fill color. And I'm gonna do um, uh, yellow, I guess. It doesn't really matter. And then super easy, right? File, download, PNG image. Now in my Google Drive, I only have this version of the button saved, but that's okay. As long as I've got one version, I can go back and make any changes that I need. Let's upload this one. So back to my demo class, I'm clicking in that middle cell. And don't worry, I'm gonna get rid of these outlines here in a second. Let's go ahead and upload the next button. I'm gonna click on images, upload image, click on the rocket ship, and then upload that next one. And this one is click for syllabus. And I've got just one more that I want to add. So back to here, this is gonna be for my Zoom office hour, or I'll just say Zoom link. I do wanna change that color. I'll do this one like a red color and then download it. File download, PNG. So easy once you've made that first one. I'm gonna click in that next cell. Let's go ahead and upload this one. Where's my image icon? Upload image, click that one, and there it is. And I'll just say click for Zoom link. Okay, submit. Now there's a couple of things that I still need to do before this is really ready. First of all, I don't want the outline there. So I do wanna click on my table and I am gonna to go to table and I want table properties and I wanna change the border width to zero. So there's now no border, which is great. I'm still clicked on this table and I want my table to be centered. So I'm gonna go center align and I've got that there. Comparing my buttons to my welcome image, I noticed that they're actually really big. Let's go ahead and make them smaller and I'm just gonna go ahead and click, hold and drag on each of those corners to get them to be all about the same. I also want them centered in my column and I'm just gonna highlight them and then choose center align. Okay, so I think it's looking great. Next, we need to add our course links. Now I've got an entire video on how to add course links. I'm just gonna do it for the buttons here. Let's go ahead and start with our start here button. To get to a course link, I'm gonna go to this link icon and click on the arrow next to it. You can also go to insert and then link and then course link. 
From my menu over here on the right, I want this button to take them to the very first module. So I'm gonna click on modules and I'm gonna click that getting started module. So that one is now a link. Let's do the same with my syllabus. My syllabus lives on a page. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on pages and find that syllabus. And then last but not least, I've got my Zoom link, but my Zoom link is an external URL. So I am gonna close my course link menu and instead I'm gonna do a control K or you can click on your link and then do external link. Either way, you're gonna end up here. Let's go grab my Zoom link. I've got my Zoom profile opened here. I'm gonna copy that link back to my demo page, back to the link pop-up, and then a control V, and then I hit done. So I can save and publish now, and I've got this great page that has some links on it. I still need to make this my landing page for the class. Right now, it's just any other page. To do that, I wanna to go to my pages list. So I'm gonna click on pages, and I'm gonna find my welcome to class click on the three dots over here and you want to say use this as a front page we've got just one more step so you're going to go to the home tab and over here on the right it says choose home page i'm going to click this and i don't want course modules instead i want what i've designated as that front page i'm going to click on save so now when students are in the dashboard and they click on this class, the landing page is our homepage. There are so many ways to create a great homepage for your students. I hope this was helpful. Take a look at my next video here to learn more about customizing your Canvas class. See you next time.